600 miles and passing through the exosphere. Roger, Anastasia, we copy. Uh, what is your status? Attitude is on the line. Kimball's are good. Trim is good. Maintain current heading, initiate radio silence protocol, and you are good to go for a stealth approach to Venus. Roger, Tower. Wish us luck. All right, time to fess up, Colonel. Wish us luck for what? Yeah, what kind of mission are we on that calls for radio silence? Recon, we've been dispatched to explain some rather large detonations on the train side of the planet. Detonations? In enemy territory? Oh, like we give a fig about... It is possible the Mekon could be testing a new super weapon. Correct, Sondar. And needless to say, it would benefit all of Earth and beyond to find out just what's going on. So we're getting in, getting answers, then getting out. Fast. Why are we dropping into Theron territory instead of Tree? We'll be sneaking in under radar. Oh dear, that must mean... Precisely, number one. We're entering through the flame belt of Venus. Oh, crumbs. I gave away my old pair of fireproof knickers. Outside hull temperature at 1200 degrees and climbing. The stabilizers are overheating, losing vector control. Metahelium fuel temperature reaching critical levels. She's not called nature's no-fly zone for nothing, sir. She's charbroiled many a ship in her day. Just a few more seconds. And we're here. Would you just look at this place? My world. What has that madman done to it? Strip-minded beyond recovery would be my guess. Some of those fishes may even reach to the planet's molten core. Hey, Colonel. I'd say we found the source of your mysterious explosions. But we're over a seismic minefield. We must gain altitude. We cannot. They will detect us. We're approaching Maconta. Should we turn about? Not yet, number one. Let's see what state they're in first. Recon's greed has destroyed everything. There is nothing left unscarred. I suppose we've seen enough. The World Council is awaiting my report. Let's get out of here. We're hit! And it ain't from no eruption! Settle in! We're skyward bound! Three treed warships are in pursuit. It's like they were just waiting for us. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The Global Defense Satellite. 400 gigatons of firepower. An infallible fiber optic targeting system. A nearly limitless metallic hydrogen power supply. This model can barely do it justice. It is quite simply the most powerful weapon ever conceived by man. And the most expensive, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, but it possesses enough firepower to destroy an entire Treen invasion without losing a single soldier. I call that cheap at any price. Of course. However, Sir Hubert, Space Fleet has had ample time and money to complete this project. Mr. Prime Minister, the testing process is painstaking. We ask only for a few more weeks. 
at the taxpayer's expense. But as long as criminals like the Mekong spend their resources developing deadly new weapons... Perhaps he's not, Sir Hubert. I apologize for interrupting your meeting, Prime Minister, but I have news regarding our mission to Mekonta. Quite all right, Colonel. What have you found as a source of the detonations? They're volcanic, a result of the Treen's flagrant abuse of their natural resources. And from the looks of things, they haven't many of those left. I see. Then perhaps... Yes. What? Uh, yes. Y yes, of course. Huh. Well, it seems we have someone who wishes to address the Council at once. The Mekon. Well now, I've heard these sessions often turn ugly. Members of the World Council, has Colonel Dare no doubt discovered on his recent unannounced visit to our city, Mekonta is in trouble. Our environment has become dangerously unstable. Our resources critically depleted. Why come to us? We are not your allies. I have no allies. And we desperately need food, medical supplies, and an emergency energy source. I have no choice but to ask for your help. Oh, naturally, we will lend a hand. Provided, of course, you agree to enter honorable treaty discussions. Of course. We are at your mercy. Prime Minister, I suggest we immediately dispatch the Anastasia with humanitarian aid. Agreed. Colonel Dare, prepare your crew for a return trip to Mekonta. Yes, sir. Colonel, is it true that hovering scallywag actually convinced the World Council to help him? It is, number one. And once El Danny's stocked with relief supplies, we're heading back to Mekonta. Yeah, and I'll also pick up a pretty bouquet for him as a token of our love. This is insane! After what we went through to keep metallic hydrogen out of the Mekon's hands, we're just going to deliver it right to his doorstep? Take it up with Councillor Hamilton, Professor. I'm just following orders. Stow it in the cargo hold, as instructed. Crew members are to remain off the ship until we have finished securing the cargo. Safety regulations. Colonel? I know, I know. Consider it goodwill, Professor, as when the Pitars gave a quantity of it to us. An efficient energy source to some people is a dangerous weapon to hateful little green tyrants. I think the council members are off their collective chump. And I say recent events have made that overpriced slingshot now unnecessary. That is an absurd notion. I've seen no real evidence of the Mekon sincerity. The trouble is you military types are only happy when there's a war going on. Now see here! Enough! I too feel it prudent not to relax our vigil this early. We shall continue the satellite project for now. <laughs> I'm sorry, but them no-good trains wouldn't lift one scaly finger to help us. Uh, no offense, big guy. None taken. True, but as I've had to remind myself, we do as humans, not trains. Uh, no offense, Sondar. <sighs> None taken. Sir, we're approaching Mekonta. Mekonta Control, this is the Anastasia carrying emergency supplies. Colonel Dan Dare requesting permission to land. We can't gain altitude fast enough! Mekonta Control! 
We're on a mission of peace, I repeat! Suppose their automated defenses are malfunctioning? No, this is a deliberate attack. How do you know? Six Treen fighters at three o'clock. They have opened fire and are closing fast. I knew the blackers couldn't be trusted. Suggest we blow them out of the sky, sir. It seems they've left us no choice. Weapon systems are down. Switching to manual override. Didn't like the sound of that. Colonel, there's an alarm showing on the cargo doors. They've just opened. What? Yeah, it must be a malfunction. We're losing cargo. The metallic hydrogen. Please continue, Consular Hamilton. Surprise attack, you say? You want us to believe that the Mekon deliberately attacked the very ship which was bringing him help? I... I know, it sounds fantastic, but... And that you accidentally dropped a container of metallic hydrogen on Mekonta, killing the Mekon along with thousands of innocent trains? Now see here! Colonel Dare has witnesses. Every member of that crew would say whatever they needed to, to get him off the hook. Mr. Prime Minister, I surmise that Colonel Dare has intentionally tried to provoke a war in order to justify Space Fleet's new defense satellite. That, sir, is a blasted lie. This lad would never... Gentlemen, please. This is a tragedy of enormous proportions. Colonel Dare, I have no choice but to remand you to the custody of World Council Security, pending a court-martial hearing. Never fear, my boy. We'll fight these charges. I... I just don't understand what happened. Council members, we no longer have any justification for the new defense satellite. There is, after all, nothing now to defend against. I'll call Commander Bunch with the order to begin disarming it. Go! Oh! <laughs> you got a problem, Hotshot? Cause in here, dealing with problems is what I'm good at. No, Officer Dag. I have no problems which concern you. Well, listen, mass murderer. You be sure and let me know if one comes up. Got it! Oh! Trust me, you'll be the first to know. Councillor Hamilton? He's out, so we'll just wait for him. Now, frankly, I don't see what possible good this can do. Hey, he's calling me a liar. I'm going to tell him to his face that the Treens did attack first. I don't think the pompous twit would be convinced no matter what we say. Hmm. What's this? Dag had this file while loading the ship. Why would Hamilton need the Anastasia's design specs? Especially with electrical schematics of... Of... Of what? The malfunctioning cargo bay doors! Very unfortunate you should find that. <gasps> now you will simply have to die. The Mekon! Alive! Hamilton! What's the meaning of this? Bad timing, Sir Hubert. You shouldn't have been nosing around. It was all staged. You weren't in Mekonta at all, were you? No, and I haven't been for a very long time. No one has. Why the deception? Just to frame Dan Dare? It was to disarm our defense satellite, wasn't it? Take away the threat, take away the need. Only we now need it more than ever, don't we? Yes. 
this. It was your only way to stop a dream invasion. You monster! Hush! Confirmed. We have incoming spacecraft. A lot of them. Red alert. Scramble all fighters. Activate the global defense satellite. It will take at least a day to reprogram. In a day? This will be over. Squadron Omega-2, you are clear for takeoff. Alert. We have incoming. Four. Make it five. Train warships. Eleven o'clock. Evasive. Abandoned, and now the Mekon has launched an invasion. Space Fleet Command? Oh, completely leveled. I am uncertain if there are survivors. Oh, oh, I am a wanted man. Hamilton has turned against us and joined with the Mekon. What about Sir Hubert and my crew? Sir Hubert has disappeared. And your crew? Right here, sir! <laughs> Green warships are on approach, Dangir. We must hurry. Let's do it. on standard engine. Activating the magnetoatomic drive. Full thrust on my mark. Three, two, one, mark! There you are, ex-Prime Minister. Gerard, why? Why? The Mekon. He'll be off busily conquering other worlds while entrusting his Earth to me. The World Council is no more, and you are the last to be rounded up. All I need now is Sir Hubert. Where is he? No doubt plotting your downfall. Dag. 
take this man away. As long as Sir Hubert and Dan Dare are out there, this is not over. You will... The surprise attack has been swift and merciless. As Treen warships converge on every major capital of the world, overwhelming Earth's defenses. <laughs> It's over. People of Earth, hear me! Your governments are no more. Space fleet is destroyed. Its flagship Anastasia is in pieces. And her crew... dead. The train victory is complete. And the mighty Mekon... Now rules the earth!